Moses in the front court along with Murray. Fox in the backcourt with Herder to his side. And it's a bonus in at the five down low. And for the Clippers, George and Leonard are the forwards. Then it's Harden. Then it's Ivica Zubac. And it's Mann in at the two guard. And we've got a good one on tap tonight between a couple of teams, Greg, who can really shoot the three ball. Uh, some of your thoughts coming into this one. Well, when you have teams like this, it's about guarding that perimeter. If you don't, they're going to rain on you the entirety of the game. So this might be one of those games that comes down to who has the ball last. Four on the clock. Here's Leonard. And Kawhi Leonard with the slam. Gives him any kind of opening, and Kawhi Leonard will make you pay at the rack. Here's Fox. And he's fouled oh, pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. See this current Clippers group, they're changing the identity of this franchise. Hey, Kevin, you know this. For a long time, they couldn't get right. Winning just one playoff series during their first 27 seasons in L.A. Now the Clippers expect to make postseason runs. And the first one drops. And I really love Fox's game. He's got a ton of room to grow, but boy, does he play with intensity. Fox hits them both. Boy, doesn't Mike Brown, uh, GA, deserve a lot of credit for the Kings' recent success? He's been terrific. I mean, bringing that championship pedigree from Golden State. Brown went to the finals as the head coach in Cleveland and one of the best people in the league as well. Here's Mann. He averages a bit over six points a game. Here's Harden. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. And over the last few years, we've seen Harden embrace the mid-range jumper, and it is paying dividends. Pass to Murray, shoots over Leonard, and that one goes off. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. The rim protection at his finest. The result is the same whether you block the shot or simply change it. First quarter of play with about a minute and a half gone. Passes to Herter. It's hauled in by Zubats. The Clippers have gotten their first three shots to go in for to start off this game. And that one's good. Leonard. Leonard's got his second basket of the night. Contact, no problem for Leonard. He's a guy who cannot be rattled. Fox against Harden. Will it go? Again, the miss by the Kings. Clippers have gone 4-4 four four to start, so a nice offensive rhythm to start here. Man passes to George. Count it! George has got five points so far. And they'll look now, but they're starting to extend this lead. They're doing it by building it out, step by step, valuing each possession. I mean, you won't see this too often. Getting denied at the rim, he's likely to remember that one. Leonard, no luck. And Barnes has got the ball here for the Sacramento Kings. Nine-point game. Harrison Barnes. Barnes making up his mind early. He was going straight to the rack there. Gotta love how aggressive he is. Here is Harden. Sacramento making their last shot. We're about three minutes into this first quarter. The layup off target. Here's Fox. After two misses to start the game, he's on the board with that shot made. And a fantastic finish. I, I just love seeing Fox work his way through contact and convert it. A fader. The offensive rebound. Man. And good work on the boards that he got the second chance points. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. The Kings trail by seven. Outside, Fox. 
And there it is for And the confidence by from Sabonis. Since being Fox. traded from OKC back in 2017, this guy has raised no his level. And the Clippers decide to take their first time out here. And as fans and broadcasters, we're not permitted to hear the specifics in these huddles. No, we're left to infer from the adjustments we see on the floor. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for Zubox. Powell comes in for Mann. And Russell Westbrook subbed in for James Harden. A big group substitution here for Sacramento. Miles checked in for Sabonis. Chris Duarte comes in for Murray. Malik Monk, he's checked in for Kevin Herter. And Davian Mitchell subbed in for De'Aaron Fox. Here's Leonard. The shot's good and the assist by Jordan. Leonard's got six. They know to get Kawhi the basketball. He was ready to shoot, and he knocked it down. Injuries have hampered Paul George over the last few years, but when he's healthy, he's elite. Greg, he's still a go-to option offensively who can guard the league's top wings. And as he's aged, he's really embraced a leadership role. And here's Barnes for three. It's hauled in by George. Clippers leading by seven. From deep, it's hauled in by Lyles. 127 left to play in the first. Here's Duarte, defended by George. Here's Duarte, still yet to score. Off target at the rim. In the corner, it's Westbrook. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. The Kings trail by seven. The shot no good by Duarte. Great defensive effort just saved a basket. You know what? This is why you never give up on a play. You don't know what's going to happen. Now, here's Westbrook. They look to him for part of their offensive attack. Right now, he averages nearly 12 points a game. Los Angeles needs to get off a shot here. Leonard fires away from outside. The kick out to Westbrook. Clippers working now with a new shot clock. Tucker finds Westbrook. Back to Tucker. Good ball movement here by the Clippers. Here's Leonard. No luck, they battled on the glass, but couldn't knock it down. Mitchell outside. And that would have counted, but it is a shot. With, you can see they were well prepared defensively coming into this one. Yes, what they do, they take away the things that teams like to do offensively. Also, keeping them out of sync. On the court for the Kings as the second quarter gets underway. Sabonis is the center with Murray next to him. Backcourt there is Fox and Monk. And it's Herter to make the three spot. Los Angeles leading by seven. It's George on the wing. He's defended by Herter. George against Herter. And George kicks to Powell. From the wing. They get it back. Zubox, that's good. Zubox has got the lead up to nine now for the Clippers. Yeah, just a solid job on the backboard. They are really controlling the inside. And the Clippers, one of the more efficient three-point shooting teams, Greg, in the NBA. And Kevin, really, over the last decade, that's been one of their most consistent traits. And it's not just because of talent. They're smart about the shots they take. George dishes to Hart. The pass to Zubac. About a minute and a half into the second quarter now. Misses from close range. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. Monk, the pass to Sabonis. Now, here's Fox. He's got six from 13. He gets hauled in by Paul George. Easy chance for mid-range. Wouldn't be surprised to see them run that play again. And this is a floor that makes a statement along the broadcast. And then 
protecting players from the heavy minute loads that can result from those games that go into multiple overtimes. So I, I, I like that idea. Mans checked in for Norman Powell. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thank you, Kevin. Paul George is one of the game's premier two-way wings. He says, I believe in my talent and what I can do, but I feel my job is to make everybody better. That's what I try to do when I'm on the floor. Just make the game easy for everybody. Whether it's creating or just being aggressive and making reads off of that. Kevin, back to you. Yeah, David lets the game come to him. Well said by him. Thank you. There's a bonus. Good. And a nice assist, assist from Fox. Assist from Fox has got three assists tonight. Fox. How about the awareness there from Fox? You, you got to love seeing how he is such a willing passer in finding the open man. Burner against George. And he loses it straight in. Pointer. George has got seven points. They are just killing him on the interior. Outside Fox. Herder on the wing. To the paint. Here's a bonus. It's hauled in by Zubats. Zubats has got six rebounds here tonight. A good job by him on the glass here tonight. Plus eight in that department. And gets the bucket. Puts it in. When, when you're trying to claw your way back into a game, you cannot allow second chance opportunities. Especially when you're this far down, you have to make the most of every sequence. Here's George. And it's Paul George with the finish. Insane move by Paul George. A high flyer that can create in midair. Fox passes to Sabonis. Basket counts. Sabonis, Sabonis has got four points in the quarter. You just love how reliable he is. Night in and night out, his offense is there. And the Clippers call time here. Right Fresh from a win against the Nuggets. And, and the focus was to get stops. All game, they were right up on shooters. And that led to shot. For the Clippers, Kawhi Leonard is checked in for Zubox. Bones Highland comes in for George. And Russell Westbrook subbed in for James Harden. And the Kings will go for a different look here. Trey Lyles checked in for Keegan Murray. Harrison Barnes comes in for Kevin Herter. Chris Duarte is checked in for Malik Monk. And Davian Mitchell subbed in for Fox. That's tipped. P.J. Tucker with a nice defensive stand. And everyone noticed that rejection. The kick out to Westbrook. Off target from three-point range. The Kings trail by 10. R.J. passes to Mitchell. Pass to Sabonis. Back to Mitchell. Pass to Wiles. The kick out to Barnes. Another three for Sacramento. When Barnes has space to fire from deep, you usually just assume it's going in. Very dangerous from outside. Passes it to Mann. Westbrook scanning the floor. Inside, Tucker. Count the bucket coming up. Please desist. Tucker's got his first points of the night. For a number of seasons, Russell Westbrook has averaged double-digit assists. Here's Mitchell. Westbrook with the nice D there. And, and they continue to control the glass. To the inside. Here's Leonard. Rebound by the Kings. Miles got four rebounds now tonight. The drive by Barnes. You got to give credit to Barnes there. Masterful job collecting speed on the drive and punching it through the basket. Westbrook passes to Tucker. Can't hit from in close. And so it's Los Angeles. And just look at the numbers from the first half. He has been very efficient. And it's not like everything's been at the rim. There's been a number of jump shots along the way. Man in at shooting guard with George at small forward. 
down in the block. It'll be Kawhi next to Zubac. And it's Harden in at the point. That's the group starting the second half for Teron Liu. Herder, no good. Outside Leonard. And there's the pass to Zubac. Harden against Fox. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Yeah, this is hard, especially one of the best in the league at drawing contact. And yet, he's still able to convert. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. And you know, guys, he had a big game at the free throw line in their last out. Kings trail by 10. Fox with it. He's got six. Here's Barnes. Pass to Sabonis. Shoots over Zubac. It's hauled in by the Clippers. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. Here's Leonard. Fades. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. The King shooting poorly, just 35% so far. And the call on the shot sends him to the line. Second personal foul. And taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for Russell Westbrook. for Sacramento. And, and maybe it's the shocking. Maybe, no, maybe not shocking, but the scoring trend over the last few years has been going down a bit. I'm sure Take it's break. something he's Take well break. aware of. And shot. we'll see if that continues to be the case. Throw good, Fox. Fox hits them both. And it's Harden with the ball for the Los Angeles Clippers. They're leading by eight. That will be a getaway game for them, a one-game road trip. Man passes to Zubac. And the dunk by Zubac. That's what stokes Zubac. Every possession he saves, he gets more fired up. Pass to Sabonis. Just over a minute and a half played here in the third. Goes up the baseline. Sacramento again missing. Clippers leading by 10. Here's George. Passes it to Leonard. And the shot goes in. Leonard's got eight points. The power of the lens, the ability to finish. Leonard dominant in that painted area. Sabonis kicks to Herter. And the jump to finish it off. A beauty. Strong move to the 10, trying to get his guys going. Hard not to get motivated, GA, right when your teammate makes that kind of play. The problem is your opponent is making big plays as well. I'll be curious to see the response. Leonard on the wing. He's covered by Murray. Kicks it out to Harden. The Clippers keep it alive. And he gets it to go as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. Well, they've been better Defensive than good foul. on the glass today. Defense. And there is a glaring discrepancy between That's these two first teams first in that foul. area. And he's got his first Team chance foul. at the line here. Powell, he's jacked in for Los Angeles. Monks checked in for Sacramento. Leonard for a free throw. A guy who excels on both ends. Kawhi is the ultimate leader. The Kings trail by 13. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. You got for us, D.A.? Thank you, Kevin. After a fantastic first season under Coach Mike Brown, the Kings are ready for bigger and better things in year two. 
Brown said, this is probably the first opportunity I've had that allows me to do what I feel was necessary to get the team headed in the right direction. There wasn't going to be much they pushback because they were looking for somebody to give them guidance and direction. And he certainly embraced that responsibility, Kevin. I like that. Yeah, he has embraced it. Good stuff, David, and thank you for the report. Howell against Monk. Herder on the wing. Just five to shoot. Murray outside. Sacramento gets it back in a new 14. Drills it from outside. De'Aaron Fox. Fox has got 11 Three pointers. And that quick shot by Fox is something you know he has worked on religiously. Nice finish. Pass to Pop. Now Zubox. And Leonard has it in the corner. Sinks the triple. Leonard's got the lead up to 13 now for the Clippers. And look at it. A significant portion of their Time offense out. coming on those no second chance opportunities. Timeout called by the Kings. He does. Bones Highland comes in for George. And it's Russell Westbrook in for James Harden. Sacramento also making some changes. Miles checked in for Sabonis. Chris Duarte comes in for Kevin Herter. And Davian Mitchell subbed in for Fox. A little undersized at the four, but he can get off the ground. Clippers leading by 11. Outside Westbrook. Now the pass to Highland. From deep. And again, it's the Clippers from deep. This is who Westbrook is in a nutshell. A flat-out baller with a quick trigger. Pass to Lyons. 115 left here in the third quarter. Mitchell against Westbrook. Here's Lyles. Trying to come right back with the three of his own. But it's no good. Mitchell against Highland. Down low. Here's Leonard. Rebound by the Kings. Miles got his fifth rebound in this one. Monk. And then Monk with the chance. I tell you, Monk has some bunnies on it. I mean, he leaps up there with ease to throw that one down. The D has got to be a little bit more aware of his athleticism. And great camera work showing up on the AT&T 5G Slam King. Island against Monk. Island's shot is good. And not quite as aggressive from outside as they were in the first half. Sticking to the high percentage shots. Playing smart with the lead. Stolen by Highland. And pushing it up. Here's the Clippers. No one near Westbrook as he lets it go. That three off the mark. Nothing seems to be going down for him today. And it's Mitchell missing. And his pure defensive effort changed that shot from an easy one to a tough one. And you know, technically, it's a high percentage look. But this is why we play the game. Norman Hogan play. This is how they built the lead, calling on the right guys at the right time. The reason why. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. On the floor for Sacramento. Box in the backcourt with Richard Russell. Trey Lyles out there with Harrison Barnes. And Sabonis in at center, locking down the middle. Fox passes to Barnes. To the inside. And Sabonis, the bucket on the assist by Barnes. Getting inside, Sabonis finishes strong. You can see how comfortable he is shooting at that range. Westbrook finds George. There's the drive. Back to Westbrook. Shot clock at six. And DeMontis Sabonis pulls it down. Sabonis has got four rebounds in this game. And the truth is, this league would have been much bigger had he shot better. On the wing, Barnes. Buries the long-range jumper. 
Yeah, a credit herder recognizes where the help is coming from, finds the open man. Here's Westbrook. Good work there as it goes. Russell Westbrook. Westbrook's got four points this quarter. Tell you what, I love that he didn't get rattled after being blanked in the first half. His shot has been absolute money since then. Fox looking it over. And he converts the layup. Do you think it's fair to say that Fox is in the zone right now? An exciting player to watch. I just love seeing how he can take over a game with his aggressiveness. And looks like the illegal the kick is set down. That's what they better get their attention. Beyond the lead, you can see the his feet for your were set on is that, that screen. Bad. Easy call. So difficult to stay planted, especially with all the motion around you. Annoying turnover. Mans checked in for the Clippers. Pass to Herter. And we're around two minutes into the fourth quarter here. Kevin Got Herter. that one. Physical D right there, but Herter's mentally tough. Never lost focus. Harden against Fox. And it's sent back by Sabonis. That's going to be out of bounds. Los Angeles will retain possession. And here's George. Tries again. Sabonis grabs the board. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And you know, we always talk about this. Just changing the shot can be just as effective as blocking it, even though it's less spectacular. Offensive rebound. Harden gets the button. Very aggressive on the offensive glass here in the second half, getting a lot of second chance points. Fox against Harden. Fox kicks to Wiles. No good on the three. Los Angeles leading by 14. George looking around. Man passes to Zubac. It's hauled in by the Kings. Sabonis has got six rebounds here tonight. Here's Barnes. Here's Fox. Goes back up. Count it. Man, he keeps doing his part. They just haven't been able to get over the hump. And so Harden will bring it up for Los Angeles. Los Angeles calls timeout. Started. And Harden. And I love that it's been a hard charging performance. Jump shots have been kind of an afterthought. And his main goal has been to attack the rim and put the D in some tough spots. And also finishing strong. He doesn't take over games like this very much, but it's always possible. And when he does here at home, these fans love it. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. David. Well, guys, over the break, I was able to listen to Teron Bruce Hubble. He told them it's all about maintaining the lead. He told them he knows it's easy to get comfortable in the position, but that they need to keep the pressure on them, guys. Thank you, David. To the paint. That one's good, and the Clipper lead has got back down to 14 on those points from home. And one of the more underrated elements of his game. I mean, this is a guy that's always in control. Love seeing him finish even with the contact. Zubac kicks to Leonard. Pocket six. Passes it to Harden. Here's Mann. Out defending. Mann can't hit. Here's Fox. At basket number six to the statue. He's now six for ten. And he gives up pounds to a lot of guys defending him, but that has never kept Fox from being in attack mode. To the wing right side. Here's Mann. Back to Zubox. Well tied pass. And he makes it straight to the bucket for the lead. No question as to which team gave the better effort tonight. A dominant performance and an outstanding win for the Clippers. Looking at both these teams, they're great rebounders. And on any given night, you 
might not know who would have the advantage on the board. They, they made the most of those extra rebounds as well, Kevin. And so that moves their record to 11 wins on the year. There's a bonus. He scores his fifth field goal. He's taking nine shots to get those five. A tireless rebounder. Sabonis gives his team an edge on the glass. Here's Harden. Here's Leonard. Nice work on the board. It's paying off with the roster. And the Clippers lead by 14. An uh, impressive job by the players, coaches, and don't discount the impact of these fans. They gave the team tremendous energy tonight. The fans were fantastic. That'll it was a true second. home court event. And it's easy to give up Since after a play like that. But this team needs to keep fighting. It's just one trip down the court. But you have to have short memory in this league or you won't last long. Now, Highland. So the Clippers 